again and welcome down to the shop. I am Buddy Cosplay and today we're going to continue the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Patriot build. This video is going to concentrate on the shoulder pads. I'm going to show you how I made them. It's a very quick, very simple and easy video to follow along with uh, so you can make things that are similar to this for your next build. Just to give you a better view of them on my blue guy here. So let's get started. We're going to start off using a duct tape body form and we're going to make a template right on there. As you can see I made one with duct tape. There's plastic underneath so it wouldn't stick directly to my duct tape body form. And once I have the pattern all traced out and everything I'm going to transfer that over onto some cardstock or directly onto foam. I'm using 5 millimeter foam for all of this build. And once everything is traced on, I have a left and a right, I'm going to cut everything out with a sharp razor blade. To get the curved pieces, I heated up the foam a little bit and gave them a little bit of a bend. And you can also see the dart that I cut right in the center. This will allow me to get this more rounded shape. I added two layers of barge contact cement and I used a round object to help shape it. Once that's stuck together really well and the seam doesn't look bad, I'm going to repeat that for the second one. Again, using the round styrofoam ball just to kind of be my guide to help keep everything lined up. Now that everything's done, it's in the shape that I want it to be in. I'm just going to add some strapping. That's going to strap it to the chest piece and the bottom piece that's going to wrap around my arm. Right now it's not cut, but I will cut it and add some Velcro there on the bottom part so it could be placed on and taken off of my arm a little easier. Now, as we always do, we're going to do a test fit. I'm going to run this up the arm of my duct tape body form and make sure that it's going to sit where I want it to on the body. I'm also going to use the same type of material I used for the belt to kind of be the underside here just to give it a different texture so it's just not a blank strap. I took it all outside and added two or three layers of Plasti Dip and then I painted it all with acrylic paints. And as you can see I went ahead and added all the different strappings. I used two different colors and now I'm going to remove any tape that I have and I'm going to add little embellishments. I have these little chrome looking pieces that are made for buttons. You can pick these up at any hardware store and I'm just going to put them in different places with some super glue. And here's what it looks like once it's punched into the foam and glued down with super glue. And here's the shoulder pads on the chest armor and here are the shoulder pads with me wearing them. And that's it. That was a quick and easy build. You can use this technique to build all kinds of different shoulder armors for your upcoming cosplays and costumes. While you're here, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. If you are already one, thanks for coming back time and time again. Down in the description, you'll also find a link to our VIP email list. We've got some awesome stuff coming up soon, and I encourage you to jump on there sign up, I'll send you some free stuff, and on top of that, you'll get first news of all the exciting new stuff that we've got coming out soon. So that's it. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. And the next list, a series, that sucked. This video is going to concentrate specifically on how to make these um, shoulder pauldrons, I don't guess they're really pauldrons, these shoulder pads. Um, I don't like any of that.